What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the same. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of P90X, Quest Nutrition, RX Bars, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, which helps service professionals, doctors, lawyers, accountants, coaches, consultants, stop just trading time for dollars and shift from one-to-one client work to one-to-many. Uh, Rise 25 is an exclusive accountability and group coaching program for professional service entrepreneurs who want to scale up. It was founded by my business partner, John Corcoran, and myself. And so you can go to rise25.com. What's interesting, Audrey, is people can download a free dream product ladder, which helps you map out your business on one sheet of paper. Companies like Starbucks, Disney have really well flushed out product ladders. So you can use the same tool. I am very excited. Today we have Audrey Darrow who founded Earth Source Organics in 2006 that manufactures righteously raw chocolate. And she's been on a mission to make, this is going to be a mouthful, but to make certified organic, vegan, kosher, gluten-free, allergen and nut-free, raw, non-GMO, no refined sugar chocolate. If you've eaten Hershey bars, that is none of those things, right? <laughs> um, and not only that, but may actually make it more affordable for people because I, when I was reading your story, Audrey, is a raw chocolate bar was $14 when you started and you couldn't afford that even with the discount. So you actually set out to build your own certified facility. And uh, Audrey's products are in over a thousand stores across the country. You can find it in... Whole Foods, Natural Grocers, and many more. And to top it off, you know, she is a um, a survivor. You know, she is no, she can't be beaten down. She is a 2003 breast cancer survivor. She's undergone radical surgeries, long-term radiation, and chemotherapy, and feels that eating healthy is a major key to health. So, Audrey, thanks for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. What do you do differently now in the future or future products because of what trends you see? Well, because maca too I, is maca. I mean, now has become a little more popular. Goji, acai, all that stuff is, but before it was not, right? right. So you're seeing something uh, on the horizon that that others aren't seeing, right? Right. There's if you look at chocolate now, chocolate is decadent, and as we grow and and I can't really tell you the things that we are creating to come out in the future because it's something that we would introduce at the next trade show. Yeah. Um, Where but do you I know introduce? The trends. Do you wait for like um, Expo West or something to introduce? Yeah. 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 It, so when I create a new product or upgrade packaging, I always make sure that it's done at the shows because not only then can my existing customers come, but I can show it to people from around the, the world. Um, there's huge trends out there that are not going away that belong inside chocolate. Mm. And they are not the superfoods that you think of. Um, superfoods are never going to go away. There are people are always going to want to eat them, but there's many more coming. And some of them are right there in your kitchen all the time that mm. more and more information is coming out about. So what we want to do in the future is um, create products that um, contain some of those trends because chocolate companies, regular chocolate companies, are, I mean, they're putting everything in now, bacon and, you know, it's its wonderful. And so we want to upgrade. This line that we do, Righteously Raw, is always going to stay as it is, but we have other product lines that we'd like to create that will also affect people that maybe don't want this, but might want that. We're mm-hmm. not limited and we see that in our future. Yeah. We want to we want to attract everybody with healthy foods, not just raw customers necessarily, and not just chocolate customers necessarily. There's we're not limited by what we do, yeah. but we want to continue working on our line. Yeah. Audrey, I can see also there's um there's an art and a science to promotions. 
in getting people to get the product? What have you found works and that doesn't work when promoting the products? Well, price is always, you know, people, it's really important. And, and I guess I could share with you the, the smaller products. So this might answer your question. So you might not be able to afford this at $5.99, even though we are actually one of the least expensive raw, uh, raw chocolates on the shelf. But I understand that. That might not be in your budget. So what we did over the years is we created items that everybody could purchase. So we, we made little bite size hmm. that should sell between 79 cents and 84 cents mm -hmm, retail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that the average consumer that doesn't want to spend or cannot spend yeah. five to six dollars, because I can't control the price once it leaves my warehouse, which means when it travels to Chicago and they pay shipping, it may be another dollar more yeah. than I want. They have to, I it keeps going it. up, right? We've also made things like this that sell for a dollar seventy nine. This is a chocolate dip brownie. Sounds Our good. Seller right now, I know I'm making you hungry. This is my biggest seller of all time. Even coming up second on the maca is my chocolate dip macarons. Mm. So this is a product that sells. It's handmade. Mm. Okay, and this is a product that we cannot keep in stock, and it's a dollar seventy nine retail. So we're creating products as we grow that every consumer can get their hands on and try it. That, that's my goal. That's what hurt me the most when I started out was that if I can't afford it, that's that's an emotional thing. If I can't afford good food, because feeding yourself good food is very empowering. Yeah. If you cannot do it, it's very demoralizing and very, very emotionally difficult. And I was there. I mean, you're standing in a store and you go, I can't afford that. Right. That's unfair. And so my goal as I continue to grow the company is to create products for every type of consumer. Yeah. Those that want the decadent that can write a, yeah. a check for anything, you know, or yeah. those that only have a couple dollars yeah. today. Yeah. And that's, you know, in the beginning when I mentioned the product ladder, the dream product ladder, that's exactly what it is, right? It's yeah. people can enter your world in different places. It's like Disney is an example, right? You can enter in, you can get the Disney cruise. Most people don't go and I'm going to go on the Disney cruise. They get a DVD or, you know, uh, they watch a movie or something. And that's kind of what you've done. You built out like a product ladder. Like, okay, we have the mini bars that 79 cents. And then we have the bars that are $5. And then you can get, a, you know, I think there's like a gift basket that's like $42 that I was tempted to buy because it's got like everything in it. But um, you have different places. People can enter you enter into your products at, at different points depending where they're at, which is right. which is great. That's that's really important to me. Yeah. Because I've stood there in that store and I know what it feels like and it's horrible. So I want to make sure that everything that I create in the future, um, it it can attract everyone. Mm-hmm. I want you to talk a little bit about the co-packing aspect because not only do you produce for yourself, but other companies call on you to produce things for them too. So how does that work? Well, so we what we do because we've already spent all that money and time to get the certifications because that is I've always told people having cancer was easy compared to getting my organic really? certification. Really? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. It took me so long and it was really difficult and it's very costly to maintain them because you have audits. And so people that want to start a company that may not have the wherewithal to build their own facility yeah. can come to a co-packer like me and say, can you make my product for me? And as long as it matches all of my certifications, because if you come to me with a nut bar, I'm going to tell you, here's where you need to go. If you come to me with something that is not gluten-free or whatever, I cannot make it in my facility. But if you have a product that's in line with my certifications, mm -hmm. the benefit to you is I do all of the work. You just manage your inventory. And so now your overhead is incredibly less because my overhead's huge. But I'm passing that on to you, allowing you for, I think the cost is $500. Uh, and it's not my cost, it's the cost from the organic certifier. But you can take your products, bring them under my certifications, because I'm a certified 
co-packer for the organic certifier hmm. and I can make your products here I can ship them to you and all you have to do is maintain a small little home office or an office right. and I do all the work don't you wish you had someone like that when you <laughs> you started you know I created products that couldn't be co-packed yeah That's the thing. so the yeah. ingredients that we do and I do want to say this for your listeners is we only co-pack dry ingredients and that keeps us very busy and the reason is is we don't make chocolate for other companies we're too busy with our own tanks and it takes up a lot of time so for us we do dry ingredients whether it's cake mixes whether it's yeah so what yeah what should someone come to you for for copa if they're wanting to um, uh, make a product that goes into a canister or a package or a pouch or whatever and it's a dry ingredient that is matched all of my certifications or if it's not we can work with you to get you certified then they then we can handle those mm -hmm. and then are there certain like let's for instance you're saying if someone wants just it's nothing to do with chocolate but just like goji berries with something else like a goji berry mix of some sort you can do that for people um, I can do that. Yeah. yeah is there minimums of for that like do they have to there, order a lot for like depending on what stage they're at what I guess what stage should someone be at if they're going to approach you for something like that well the good thing for uh, for people that are starting out and that's the big problem in co-packing is that when you go to a, a standard co-packer the minimums are very high so most companies cannot afford to sit on a product for that long so we do have much lower minimums uh, we started out you know, make it, we'll make 50 for you. But the problem was, is we weren't making any money. Yeah. So we try to work with companies to, to get them going, help them get their, that business off the ground. We, that's <clears throat> one thing for me that's really important is to share the mistakes that I've already made with these co-packers yeah. so that they can survive because that is worth every book and millions of dollars because I've already made all the mistakes. <laughs> I have to cough. Go ahead. <coughs> Sorry about that. So that's something that we offer. We also offer uh, fulfillment. So we'll package it for you. We'll ship it back to you. Um, if it needs to go to a customer, we'll send it to a customer. So we do all of that work, and you can start small. I'm not going to give you an amount because we don't necessarily say it has to be a 1000 we try to work with the individual customers, right. see where they are, and see if it can work for us. Because I would take everybody if I could. Yeah. You know, I, I want yeah. everybody to have the opportunity to build yeah. their dream. So. Yeah. You're you're busy enough as it is, so I, I can assume you can't. Well, you know but, what I mean? but I've so. learned over time. Here's the thing: you have to learn in business, which you would think you'd know this. You got to make money. You have to make money in order to stay in business. I'm responsible to people, and. I've spent many years wanting to help others, but at the same time, I've had to learn the hard way. I have to make profit or I can't help others. Yeah, so, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll be, I want to be the first one to thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for talking oh about um, the journey. And where should we point people towards to find out more? Obviously, they can go to different grocery stores, Whole Foods, local, if it's if it's there. But they could also go to your website, which uh, is RighteouslyRawChocolate.com and check out um, the products, the mini bites, the macaroons, the full-size bars, all that. Um, are there any other places we should point people towards to check out to uh, check out your products? Well, they can always email me. They can just, the email that's on the website will come to me. It's info at earthsourceorganics.com. They can also, if anybody has questions, they want to give us a call. Uh, we're here, you know, five days a week, and it's 760-734-1867. Uh, um, and they can talk to anybody here about our products or if they want to talk about co-packing. Or anything like that, um, you know. We're here to we're here to talk and help people. Yeah. So, what do we miss? Anything else from the journey that will be important to leave people with? I think, for me, it's really important that people know that the the journey of business for me has been an incredible experience, and that if you're starting out in a business, you have to understand that 
those problems along the way, which happen in business all the time, are actually what I call lessons. And so you can be in business and you can go, oh my gosh, this isn't going to work. Why me? Hurdle, 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 which is business. Or you can look at it and go, what am I supposed to learn from this? It's taken me a long time to figure that out. So now when I'm faced with those hurdles, I can look at it and go, okay, what do I need to learn from this? And then I do, and I move on to the next one. That, for anybody starting a business, that is crucial to understand. And the other part of it is, if I inspire one of your viewers by knowing that after cancer, after loss, you can pick yourself up and you can still dream and you can still have joy and you can still have laughter and you can still create. And that in and of itself is what gets me up every day. Yep. If I didn't have this dream and this vision, you know, I'm 60 years old, almost 61, and I'll tell you something. I spent my entire life thinking that I was tone deaf because I was told I was tone deaf. And about two years ago, I thought, what if I'm, what if I'm not? Hmm. And I started playing guitar. Got a guitar teacher who said, well, yes, you can. And I found that one person that can say, yes, you can. Do you know I'm a drummer? A guitarist, I play electric guitar, I play, I play with bands, I'm learning bass guitar now. So if I can inspire one person to know that we are not what we were told we were, mm. and to go out and, f and do what it is that you've always dreamed of, don't let anybody put a label on you. I'm 61 years old, I'm playing in bands now. Of, th of something that I spent all my life, and that is so important for me for, me, for people to understand. Yeah. Audrey, thank you again. Everyone check out RighteouslyRawChocolate.com. And uh, this is great. Thank you so much. What an honor. What I've got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a peach if you find the